Hey guys, what up? Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to create the uh, VPS and the droplet for your CSGO gambling website. So what you want to do is come over to digitalocean.com. So you just go to digitalocean.com and you want to sign up and use my referral code in the description and it will give you an extra $10 upon signing up and adding like around $5. So what you want to do that, so once you're on the actual digital ocean, you want to come over here and click create droplet. So if I'm going fast, uh, I can't record along today because I have to go somewhere. Alright, so then uh, you want to click the bane and then you want to go 7.10 and then uh, times 64. Uh, usually I would recommend going like at the 10 because once you sign up and use my referral, if you add $5, you add 15. So that's like a month and a bit. So what you want to do is like either this one or this one. I really would recommend this this uh, ten dollars a month because it lets you have more people, obviously, than the five dollars. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the five dollar one because I don't have much money on my account. All right. So then once you're uh, you've chosen your size of your package, you want to like select like a destination closest to you. Because I'm in Australia, it like I. I personally use, I use New York, I don't know why, there's probably much better ones, but I'm assuming that majority of my players would be on the New York, like near New York, so I, I either choose one, two or three, it's, just, it's random, you can choose anyone. Uh, what you want to do, you want to skip this, skip this, and you want to make a name for it, so right. so this is going to be the tutorial one, so you want to just create a name for it, and... That should be all. Alright, so you want to create it. Alright, once you create the droplet, you should uh, go over to the email of where you verified your uh, your account. So, like, where you signed up with your email. So, that for me, that would be my Gmail. And, wait, let me just get the email first. Because once you uh, create your droplet, it should send you an email so you can set up the uh, the, uh, the console with. Alright, so what you want to do is hop over to your thing. The default login should be root, and I haven't received an email yet. Give me a sec. Alright, there we go. I just received it. Um, so what you want to do? Uh, default login will be root, and they will send you a password so i recommend instead of going into the uh access console what i re recommend is getting a, a a program called putty putty is basically the console like it's like a remote kind of console so w once you're in here you want to go over to putty and yeah and download it oh, yeah it was this one this one right here so that one uh you want to you want to download putty yeah and so here's my putty. Uh, port 22, you want to add, and you want to go over to your droplet and get your IP address. So for this one, get the IP, put it in here, paste, and then you want to click open. It should pop up with this here. You just want to click yes, and now it will be, yeah, the console will be there. Um, the benefits of putty is that you can copy and paste stuff into the, uh, console so you don't have to type everything uh, especially the password because the password you the default password you get from digital ocean is quite long so uh, i'm just gonna copy oh uh, wait i gotta put root uh the, yeah the default password is quite a bit of characters let me just put that in there uh you want to uh change your password here Alright, so you want to put the current password in, so you can just paste it again. Um, sorry you can't see it, but when, when I paste it, it doesn't show up because of the, um, that's just how it is. Uh, enter new password. I'm just going to put the password as test for now. And, uh, retype. Oh, wait, I probably shouldn't put the password as test. Okay, I'm going to do this again. Just so you guys don't fucking hack me. <laughs> Alright, uh... Whose name is going to be? Oh wait, whose name? Oh yeah, what you can also do is you can uh, you can click click save. What can you? 
Oh shit, that was at. Right, sorry, I was putting the wrong thing in. I wasn't putting the IP address, I was putting the password. So once it's there, why can't I save it? Don't know why it's saving. Oh, god, I'm bad. Uh, you gotta put like, sorry, a uh, a name and then click save. So then you can also you can just like automatically so you don't have to type in the password every uh, the IP every time. So uh, let me just put the password in. Uh, current password, new password. All right, so now you're in the uh, uh, the console, like fully without everything. Every time you, you log into the console, you're gonna have to put the pass the root, and then it'll, it'll prompt you for the password and just put the password that you set here. Okay, so uh, now you are in the console. What you wanna do is straight away uh, apt get uh, update, and these will just run through some updates. Uh, from for the console. Why does it take so long? All right. uh, and then what you want to do? Oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, all right. And then you want to do update upgrade. Uh, yes, this is just upgrading the uh, apps you have, a little packages you have. All right. So now let's run through. What you want to do is type in apps get install. MySQL server, MySQL client. What this do? What this will do is install MySQL on your uh, thing. All right. So what you want to do here is, uh, I, I recommend setting the same password as the root. Like so. Let me just type that. So yeah, just set like the same password as the root, and repeat password for the MySQL server. Uh, oh yeah, you just gonna. Obviously, repeat the password, and that will run through. All right, now what you want to do is uh, you want to you want to type in app. Sorry, my microphone's in the way; it's hard to uh, type. So what you want to do is you want to install Apache two. All right, so now you want you install Apache two. Uh, you should be able to. Go to the IP. Alright, see, it works. So uh, you want just say, yeah, just go to the IP and check. Yeah, obviously it, sh it should be working after you install Apache. But yeah, so it works. Alright, so now um, now what you want to do is you want to uh, install. Well, uh, PHP five lib. No. RG2 mod. This is really hard to see on my keyboard. Wait. HP5. Alright. So you want to type this um, command in. Every command that I put, I will put into the description. So it's going to be easier for you guys. So you don't have to like type in if I do any mistakes and shit. Alright. Why? Alright. So it's going to do. Uh, what you want to do now is you want to restart the Apache server. So how are you going to do this? You can either do, I'm pretty sure, sudo service apache2 restart. I'm pretty sure you can do that. Okay, right, so I don't know which way you can do it. You can do it another way, but the way I'm going to do it for these tutorials is uh, 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 slash etc slash init.d slash apache2 and then restart. What? Uh, I spelled restart wrong. All right. Uh, yeah, there. So now it's gonna restart the uh, the Apache, and uh, that's just gonna like if you ever do anything to it, you want to restart it so it sets like the the changes that you've done to it. All right. So now that we've done that, you wanna. Oh, sorry, I haven't told you to get this. What you wanna do is uh, you wanna hop on to FileZilla. You wanna like. Alright, so what you want to do is download FileZilla. I'll put the link in the description, but uh, you want to get it from here. So FileZilla project. Alright, so anyway, so once you've got FileZilla, you want to uh, go to the the IP. Where is it? 
So put that in. The username is going to be root. Oh shit! No, and accidentally enter. Right. Anyway, the password is going to be the password you set at the beginning, and the port is going to be 22. And then you can click quick connect. Ah, right. so you're on it. Uh, by the way, if you ever want to connect back to it, you can click this little drop back down, um, drop down box, and just click on it. So then it. Uh, I'm not going to do it now because I'm already on it. But uh, what it will do is just like. Uh, quick connect back to it obviously uh, <laughs> took way too long to explain one simple thing All right. so what you want to do you want to click here and then you want to go down to VAR and then once you're in VAR you want to go to www this is where you're going to be saving like your uh, your server files and everything All right. uh, I don't think I'm going to have enough time to show the server setup so I'm going to do that next tutorial um, not server setup but like the um, file like kind of set up a placement and shit like that. So what you wanna do, you wanna delete index.html and then you wanna create a directory, not directory, create, uh, create a new file and it's gonna be info.php. Add within that info.php. Yeah, you wanna open it. Right, oh, it's on my other screen. Let me just. There we go. Uh, what you want to type in is you want to type in the uh, bracket and uh, oh, what am I doing? PHP. <sighs> Click tab accidentally. Alright, then you want to do PHP info bracket bracket and then a, a semicolon. And then you want to do this again. And you want to click Control S. And then you can exit out of this and it will say like to upload it back onto the uh, server. So now once you go onto your server, you can go here and then info.php, uh, your website on server. And this will basically just tell you everything that you have installed. So like if you're ever in doubt or anything, unfortunately I have to like go now. So I will continue the tutorials uh, whenever I can. Um, I was hoping to get a daily upload of tutorials, but it didn't really work out. So, from this tutorial, uh, you guys have set up your droplet and stuff, and tomorrow or the day after, I will try my hardest to get a tutorial out on how to, like, put all the files on and just install stuff that you need to install, and yeah. So, uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe comment and share just yeah share with your friends if they're also interested in trying to set up a csgo gambling website yeah thank you for watching so